Well, hello and good morning to you. Today, I'm gonna to give you another question that you're gonna start asking yourself to figure out, are you in a place of good mental wellness? And yes, look, the key here is for you to be in a state of good mental wellness, you have to be able to measure it. You have to be able to calibrate it. And then you have to know what to do if your mental balance is off. So for today's question, you need to very simply and clearly ask yourself, am I feeling down, depressed, or hopeless as I'm going about my day? Yeah, look, so we know that this is a very tough and direct question. It can be kind of intimidating to be so blunt with yourself. But don't worry about it, because what we're learning here together is that to manage your mental wellness, we have to be able to ask ourselves questions, and then we have to be able to find the right answers. So friend, how are you feeling today? Are you feeling down, depressed, or hopeless? If you're feeling down, depressed, or hopeless, press here. If you're feeling down, depressed, or hopeless, press here. If you're feeling somewhat okay, press here. Well, like always, no big deal. That's what we're here for. It's not a big freaking thing. We're gonna get through this together. Look, your traditional answer is of taking time for self-care, calling a friend, talking to a loved one, exercising, and on and on and on. All of these things still apply. But what I'm bringing forth to you to consider is from now on, I'd like you to identify all of the moments where you feel like you're not feeling well, and then measure how many times were you able to bounce back from those situations. In medicine, we have a very specific term for this, and this term is called resilience. Resilience measures your ability to bounce back when your mind is in a negative state of mind. The reality, of course, I mean, is that we can't be 100% every single day of the year. So what resilience helps you to do is, it allows you to focus on how quickly and how often you're able to bounce back from a place of a negative mental space. By knowing how often you're resilient, you can actually become more productive. Keeping track of these answers actually allows you to improve your quality of life. So if you find over and over that you're not able to be so resilient, don't be so hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. It may actually be time for you to go and reach out and speak to your healthcare provider. Let them know that you aren't being so resilient, especially over the last two weeks or so. Let them know that you're having a difficult time bouncing back. This is gonna start the conversation correctly and positively, and I believe that you're gonna be in a better mental space. Seek help when you need it. Otherwise, keep an eye on how often you're able to bounce back. Life is gonna have its ups and downs.